Hey guys, it is November the 8th. You're watching GameSpot News. My name is Jess and I'm here to disappoint you by not being Chastity or Mary. Here's what's been going on. A new video has arrived from Sony calling the PS4 Pro the world's most powerful console. If that phrase is ringing a bell for you, it's probably because Microsoft have used very similar language to describe the upcoming Project Scorpio, which is a super-powered Xbox One. The new video shows off a number of PlayStation games that will support the Pro console, including Horizon Zero Dawn, Uncharted 4, and Rise of the Tomb Raider. You can watch the video in 4K, although you'll obviously need to have a 4K display to do so. A second video was released soon after, touting the PS4 Pro's tech features, including dynamic 4K. 4K gaming and HDR color. The PS4 Pro is due out on November 10th. Last weekend, BlizzCon Blizzard explained that they wouldn't be remastering Warcraft 1 or 2 because they really aren't that fun anymore. During a panel, Blizzard co-founder Frank Pierce explained that while the publisher does have access to the original source code and assets, it's still, quote, really hard to access that stuff, unlock it, and figure out how it all works. He added, we had some dedicated folks that were passionate about the idea to dig up the Warcraft 1 assets and code. They got it working and they got it running in a window and I played it. Warcraft Orcs and Humans was awesome for its time. I promise you in today's world, by today's standards, it's just not that fun anymore. Pierce went on to say that with their limited resources, Blizzard would rather create more content for games like Overwatch and World of Warcraft. If you are into older Blizzard stuff though, at least you'll get to tuck into the reworked content from the original Diablo, which is on its way to Diablo 3. Finally, update 1.1 has arrived for Skyrim Special Edition. The patch fixes the game's audio downgrade, which resulted from a compression issue, as well as problems including the unintentional disappearance of NPCs. Alongside that, the update also implements general performance and optimization improvements, and fixes an issue where some interface elements would not appear correctly on certain PS4 and Xbox One displays. That is everything I have for you today. Do let me know what you cared about down in that comment box, and I will see you again tomorrow.